Attribute directives are designed to change the appearance or behavior of the DOM elements that they are attached to. They do not create or remove DOM elements like the structural directives do. We typically control how elements appear by adding and removing CSS classes dynamically. There are two ways in which you can achieve this. A class binding is a good way to add or remove a single class. The ng style directive may be the better choice when we want to add or remove many styles at the same time. Let's tackle both one by one. A good way to apply ng class is by binding it to a key value control object. Each key of the object is a CSS class name. Its value is true if the class should be added and false if it should be removed. Let's understand it with an example. Our goal here is to create a boolean property called is available on the app component. And then based on its value, we want to display my product either in green or in red. So let's see how we can achieve this by using ng class. Okay, so in line with what we wanted to do, we created a boolean property called is available on the component class. Then we created two styles, one available and then the another one unavailable. And then we attached the ng class attribute to a key value control object. And when is available is true, then it's going to apply the available class. And when is available is false, it's going to apply unavailable. So now let's go ahead and save this file and see how it works. Back in the browser, we can now see that my product is green. Now when we go back and change the value of is available to files in our app component and save the file again, we should see that unavailable class is now applied to our h1 tag and the text is going to be in red color. Now if we inspect this using the developer tools, we can see that class is equal to unavailable. So the unavailable class is now being applied. Now that we have learned how to use ng class attribute directive, let's move on and see how we can work with ng style attribute directive. Using the ng style attribute directive, we can set inline styles dynamically. Binding the ng style attribute directive lets us set many inline styles simultaneously. In the following example, we are going to style multiple properties of our element. We are going to bind these properties to values that can be updated either by the user or via our components. Okay, so let's see what we have here. We first created a style property on our app component and then assigned it a value of 10. And then we have a div which has some text called style using ng style. And then we have attached the ng style attribute directive and then we have given some inline styles here. For the color inline style, we are assigning it color which is going to get its value from this input element and then you can see that this input element has a two-way data binding. And then we have font size, which is getting its value from size, which would get initialized initially in our app component, but then would later change when the user is going to click on the plus or the minus button. 
So when the user clicks on the plus button, we are increasing the size by one. And when the user clicks on the minus button, we are going to decrease the size by one. And then finally, we also have a font weight property. And here we are hard coding the value as bold. So using this example, we can clearly understand how we can set multiple inline styles using different ways of binding. Now let's see how this works. So we have our style using ng style text being displayed with a font size of 10. And what I'm going to do now is to input some color. So if I say red, then we can see that the text color has been changed to red. And when we do a green, again, the color of the text is changing to green. Now let's try our plus and minus buttons here. So if I click on the press button, we can see that the size of the text is now increasing. And when we do a minus, then it decreases accordingly. ng-style attribute directive is a great way to set inline styles dynamically.